Welcome back LT Gamers, my name is Tom and today we're embarking on an exciting journey back into the world of Heroes of Might and Magic 3. But not just the original game, we're diving into an impressive fan-made expansion called Heroes of Might and Magic 3 Horn of the Abyss, or HOTA for short. So join me as we explore this full-scale add-on packed with new features while staying true to the formula and vision of the original game. Of course, first things first, if you do enjoy the content we make here, consider dropping us a like, it really helps with the YouTube algorithm, comment your thoughts, and of course consider subscribing to our journey. Let's jump into it. First things first, let's dive into what makes Horn of the Abyss or Hoda such an incredible fan-made mod. This comprehensive expansion is designed to continue the classical Heroes 3 experience and introduce an exciting array of new features. The primary objective of Hoda is to create an add-on for Heroes 3 that not only introduces this wealth of new content, but also stays true to the formula and vision of the original game. The modding team behind Hoda is dedicated to ensuring the utmost quality in every aspect of the modified game. To achieve this, Hoda carefully addresses the original game's balance issues, rectifying them with meticulous fixes. Additionally, graphical imperfections left by the developers are removed, resulting in a visually enhanced experience for players. But the enhancements don't stop there. Hoda goes above and beyond by introducing a considerable amount of new content, so pre prepare yourself for new campaigns, map objects, and even entirely new playable factions. This expansion is a treasure trove of fresh adventures, all while staying true to the lore and the spirit of the original Might and Magic universe. It's also worth noting that unlike, for example, in the Wake of the Gods base mods, Horn of the Abyss seamlessly integrates its new towns into the game without replacing any existing ones. This means you have even more options and strategies to explore without sacrificing any of the beloved factions of the original Heroes 3. To experience the wonders of Horn of the Abyss, you have to have either Shadows of Death or Heroes of Might Magic 3 Complete Edition installed. So this mod requires either of those expansions to run, ensuring compatibility and a seamless gameplay experience. One of the defining goals of the Horn of the Abyss mod is to refine and elevate every aspect of the Heroes 3 experience. And through their tireless efforts, Horn of the Abyss de delivers a polished and immersive gaming experience that stays true to the original version of Heroes 3. So a lot of the careful adjustments have been made to the vanilla game's mechanics to ensure a more engaging gameplay experience. Some examples and notable improvements are the ability to flag creature dwellings and have them accumulate creatures over time. So this is a strategic addition that adds a new layer of depth to your army management and planning. Another example is the necromancy skill has undergone major reform, with the previous percentages now halved compared to those in the Shadow of Death expansion. As uh, if you knew about that exploit where you could basically snowball with skeletons un unstoppably, then it kind of ruined the game and the approach. So these changes bring a fresh approach to gameplay to ensure a balanced and dynamic experience. The Hota crew have also placed, uh, done a lot of these changes and place a strong emphasis on multiplayer gaming. Hota is designed to be the ultimate version of Heroes 3 for online play, and the modding team actively supports and maintains tournaments within the wider gaming community. So whether you're a seasoned player seeking a competitive edge or a casual gamer looking to explore the enhanced world of Heroes 3, Horn of the Abyss delivers a multiplayer orientated experience like no other. However, this fan-made expansion isn't just about fixing and refining. It's about expanding the Heroes 3 universe and treating players to a plethora of new content. Hoda breathes new life into the Heroes 3 experience by introducing exciting additions such as new campaigns, map objects, and even an entirely new playable faction called the Cove. This expansion also stays true to the lore and essence of the original Might and Magic universe, ensuring for a seamless and authentic gaming experience. Prepare to explore uncharted territories with the addition of new terrain types like Highlands and Wasteland, which provide a lot of unique strategic opportunities and eye candy to boot. Hoda also unveils a collection of captivating new campaigns to embark upon, 
So you have Under the Jolly Roger, Terror of the Seas, and the Horn of the Abyss campaign, which promise epic quests and thrilling encounters. There are new heroes to also uh, lead you into battle. The captain and the navigator take the helm in the Cove faction, offering mighty strength and magical prowess, respectively. Additional heroes like Beatrice the Knight, Giselle the Ranger, Ranlu the Death Knight, Kinkiria the Witch bring their unique skills as well uh, as their personalities to the battlefield. And Hoda leaves no stern stone unturned when it comes to enriching gameplay experience. New map objects and artifacts await discovery, adding depth and intrigue to your adventures. The Conflux faction also undergoes a transformation as its native terrain changes to the Highland one, opening up new strategic possibilities there. External dwellings, as I mentioned before, also now accumulate creatures, adding a very fresh dynamic to different maps and army recruitment. And there is a new war machine known as the Cannon, which can bring its devastating firepower onto the battlefield. And it's important to say that Hoda is fully compatible with Heroes 3 HD, ensuring that players can enjoy the enhanced experience on modern platforms. Plus, with the inclusion of the template editor, this empowers players to unleash their creativity and create custom maps, further expanding the possibilities within the game. And of course, I would be remiss if I didn't talk about the highly anticipated release for the 1.7 version of this mod. So let's dive into what's going to be in that and hopefully when we might expect it to be done, as it has been long delayed. So the Factory Faction, the 11th edition to Horn of the Abyss, will make its debut in version 1.7, with the Wasteland as its native terrain. The Factory combines nature and technology in captivating ways, so prepare for unique creatures and upgrades that will revolutionize your strategic approach to the game. Development process has been substantial, with five of the eight campaigns being completed as of their last update, which was in May 2023, I believe. The final map promises to be a sprawling adventure with underground sections and new features in the works. They're also meticulously crafting new cutscenes and all 16 heroes have been approved with distinctive abilities and portraits. Of course, there will be bug fixes, gameplay improvements and a return of previously removed content in the updated quality part of the update. The wasteland terrain and associated objects with that terrain are already implemented, so it's already set the stage for this new factory faction to hit the game. So, I can't speak as to when this will be released. It is likely next year, I believe, as, you know, they with everything, they have been very kind of detail-orientated and precise, and so I can't criticize them for that. Um, I just hope to get my hands on this as soon as possible. And there you have it, fellow LT gamers, Heroes of Might and Magic 3, Horn of the Abyss. This is a fan-made masterpiece, in my opinion, that revitalizes the classic game we know and love. With its commitment to quality, attention to detail, and abundance of new content, this expansion is a must-play for any Heroes 3 enthusiast. So gather your heroes, ready your armies, and embark upon an unforgettable journey through the Horn of the Abyss. If you've enjoyed the video and you want to see more exciting content about Heroes 3 and other games, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications. And of course, as always, leave your comments and suggestions below. Until next time, LT Gamers, bye bye now.